This is the review of the Mod Plunge, a fully modular, super affordable solution that in my opinion is the perfect mix of high-end meets DIY. So off the bat, I find this to be super affordable, priced at $3,000. Now, what the Mod Plunge essentially is, and why I refer to this as a DIY do-it-yourself solution with a twist, is that this is essentially a Grizzly 400 cooler attached to an Active Aqua quarter HP chiller. And what the Mod Tub company does is effectively they drill all the holes, they provide you with the piping, they give you a pump, filters, they just make the whole process so, so easy. Now, I know what you may be thinking. So, can I just do this myself? And the answer is, yeah, you can. If you're a handy person and you're persistent, you can do it all yourself and probably save like 1500 bucks. I, of course, am impatient and not very handy, so I was happy to take the plunge, pun intended, and just buy this unit, which just made the whole process so, so easy and so seamless. I cannot say enough good things about the process of getting it set up and my results with the unit so far. Also, one thing to note, I'll have separate reviews on both the chiller itself and the cooler, so if you want to see me go into greater details on those, check the description. Also, consider subscribing, and if you want to go deeper into the world of cold plunging, I cannot recommend enough checking out at cold plunge memes on Instagram. It's just a hilarious Instagram account dedicated to all things cold plunging. Okay, so let's get into the review. The setup. So we can see here the whole unit comes nicely packaged on a pallet. Upon opening it, we can see everything fits nicely into the cooler itself. We have the chiller, a box of hoses, the pump, filters, and some other good stuff. Here's me doing an initial size shot just to see how big it actually is. I just couldn't wait. For reference, I'm 6'1", 200 pounds. I definitely recommend setting this up with at least two people, but nonetheless, I did it myself while filming, so certainly possible to do it as a one-man job, just not recommended. The cooler itself is 91 pounds empty, so here's me dragging it to my destination. One thing to keep in mind is that it's probably too big to fit in standard doorways, so unless you have some really wide doors, you really need to keep this in a garage or outdoors, preferably under some shade. Once you have the cooler in its place, it's time for the setup. Ultimately, it probably took me like 20 minutes to fully set it up. They make the setup so, so easy by labeling all the hoses, so you just follow their straightforward directions and everything just works. For example, this electric box is already in place when you receive the unit, and they give you all the electric stuff to keep this thing nice and tidy, so when it's all said and done, everything just fits and looks great and neat. How it works. Once everything is connected, fill it with water. They actually provide this filter that you put on the end of your hose, which filters the water before it even hits the tub, which is a great touch and ensures that you're starting out with water that's as clean as possible. Once the tub is filled, and you only wanna really fill it to like 75% so it doesn't overflow, you just turn it on and bam, everything just works. The way it works is the water exits the tub from the bottom hole, hits the water pump, which shoots the water up into this 50 micron filter. From there, the filtered water hits the chiller, which continues to cool the water down until it hits the desired temperature. For me, it probably took like five hours for the water to get down from like 60 degrees Fahrenheit to the desired temperature of around 40 degrees. What I like. First and foremost, what I love about the Mod Plunge is that it uses a cooler as the ice bath itself. Using a cooler means that it's going to come with an attached cover, but also that this is going to be the best insulated cold plunge money can buy. Think about it. You're literally plunging in a cooler, so it just can't get better insulated than that meaning the water is going to stay colder longer, allowing the chiller to be more efficient, and it really comes in clutch in those summer months by not allowing the warm ambient air temperatures to affect 
the water temperature. Another really underrated feature that I like is you see with a lot of cold plunges, they come with a cell phone mount. While this doesn't have that specifically, I like to lean my phone up against the lid and it just works perfect for having access to my phone and allowing me to time myself. As a side note, I try to plunge for about three to five minutes depending on the day. Having a cover that's attached to the unit is also just super clutch. It makes it so easy to open and close it without any hassle, so no leaves or debris are falling in. And trust me, when you're jumping into freezing cold water, you want as few obstacles as possible, few excuses. So just being able to wake up from a nice eight hour slumber pop it open and jump in without even thinking or turning on your brain means no excuses and no better way to wake up. And lastly, the lid does have holes so you can install a lock if you'd like in case you have some neighbors or little kids you wanna keep from accessing it. What I don't like. Off the bat, how cold it gets. You can only set the chiller to go as low as 39 degrees, so I'm finding the water gets down to like 41, 42 degrees, which is certainly good enough for like 99% of the people out there, but I would certainly like the ability to get the temperature a little lower. Also, the Mod Plunge uses a quarter HP chiller, where I'd say if you were going to DIY this unit on your own, for not too much more money, you can get the half HP unit, which is just gonna be a bit more powerful and get your water colder faster. The form factor. Obviously, this is a cooler at the end of the day, and as previously mentioned, they've done a great job making the whole thing look clean and elegant, but it is still a big cooler in your backyard or garage, which may or may not be the look that you're going for. I personally don't mind, but I could see it being an issue. Also, while it's nice and compact while you're in it, you can't exactly lay out and spread your legs like some competitor units. You kind of have to hunch up like a ball, which quite frankly isn't that big of a deal because you're going to get pretty numb anyway, but it would be nice to be able to sprawl out a bit. Me being 6'1", 200 pounds also means I kind of have to readjust if I want to dunk my head in, so I can't exactly have my full body submerged at once. Not a huge issue, as this is what you get with the form factor, but something to note. Overall, overall I really can't say enough good things about this unit. It's just simple, it just works, and it works well. Cold plunging is hard enough, so having something that's going to be reliable and easy is key. And I feel like this company just nails it by essentially doing all the thinking and prep for you. Lastly, I do love the fact that it's modular, so if something were to break or you wanted to make an upgrade, it's just very simple and you can do so without having to buy an all new unit. All right, time to get in. Thanks for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and feel free to check out our website at plungereviews.com.